Hey, it's DJ from csvape.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new IPV400 by Pioneer For You. The IPV400 by Pioneer For You. Pioneer For You's IPV400 is their latest box mod platform focused on creating one of the best size to performance ratios in our industry with a 200 watt maximum output. Integrating YIHI's SX330F4 chipset, the IPV400 features advanced level performance output with a wide wattage range and a minimum atomizer resistance of 0.15 ohms. Two 18650 high amperage batteries sold separately are required and can be loaded from the base of the body. So the IPV400, a lot of people are considering this the IPV6, but um, to me, it's the IPV400. That's what it's advertised as, IPV400. Um, this is a 200 watt device, dual battery. Uh, for those who are familiar with Pioneer For You, they are making a lot of new products very, very uh, frequently. So for those who are a fan, this is actually something that you may like. Now, you probably remember the IPV5, even the IPV4 even, um, it's, it was very large, a lot larger than this device. You still have the ability to have two batteries, but it's not as bulky. Uh, very, very small, compatible, uh, sorry, compatible, portable. Um, you can put it in your pocket, your bag, whatever. Just make sure that you, um, you have it locked or you know, whatever the case may be. And I'll show you those features in a, in a second. Now, uh, first glance, you do have the, uh, the micro USB port on the side Again, I mean, I know in some videos, you know, depending on the mod, it is compatible with charging via the USB port. Uh, some other mods can do that, but uh, this one, it doesn't specifically advertise that it's for charging, so <clears throat> I wouldn't rely on that. I would really just make sure that you're charging your batteries with an external charger so you don't have any issues and you can prolong the health of your batteries. On the top, you have your uh, gold-plated 510 pin. Uh, with the 510 th threading, of course, there is no indentation <clears throat> in the um, around the uh, connection. So, you, you know, whatever whatever atomizer you plan on using, it'll sit flush. You don't have to worry about it um, kind of being elevated or anything. Now, mind you, the um, the width of this space here looks like it may be compatible with maybe a maximum of 25 millimeter diameter of any type of atomizer, so it doesn't hang over. So just keep that in mind. Um, on this side, you have the firing button. It is curved to the curvature of the actual body of the device, so it's super ergonomic, very comfortable to hold. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, it, you know, having a sharp edge or anything on the button itself. At the base, you have your battery door. Um, it is a spring-loaded uh, door, so you would slide it out, and then it'll pop up, and that's how you'd remove and insert your batteries. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and close that back up. So in order to turn the device on, which is actually already on, you would go ahead and hit the firing button five times. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you. <clears throat> five times since it's already on, it gave me the system um, option, or well, the menu system rather. So you navigate with the firing button. You have the uh, system off, which you can turn it off with either one of these buttons, wattage up or wattage down. Um, you have the power mode, which you can change power mode or dual mode, which is for temperature control modes. Power mode, of course, would be wattage mode. Version, you can um, press one of these to see what version it is, and as of right now, it's YIHI SX330. Um, this chipset is one of the most accurate on the market, from what I understand. And um, after that, you have the exit. That's pretty much it. On the screen, it is rather tiny. I will tell you that straight off the bat. Aside from the other models of the IPVs, they, uh, this is a little on the smaller side. So for those who like large displays, um, this may not be the mod for you, but for those who are okay with the smaller screen, because it kind of comes with the territory. It's a small device, small screen. You don't have a lot of room to put a big display on there. That's exactly what they did. But this chip is a very nice chip. So you, uh, on the screen, it doesn't stay on for very long, so I'm sorry about that. But um, you have the wattage to your left, you have the voltage equivalent on your upper right, and you have your resistance on the lower right with your battery meter on the right hand side as well. So of course, as we probably already know, the voltage is always gonna be uh, calculated based on the wattage level and the resistance that you throw on it, whether it's a rebuildable or a pre-made coil, um, it's gonna always give you that voltage equivalent so you know that you are within the range, well, a respectable range, so you don't burn your coil or have a premature coil failure. But um, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, right, this one I'm holding is the blue one. I will tell you that is, uh, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet. Um, it doesn't really have a brushed finish or anything, but uh, the fingerprint magnet is definitely one of these devices. Um, so if you are OCD about that, you may have, you may want to carry some alcohol swabs with you or something like that, or wipes and make sure you keep it clean. But other than that, it's a really good device. On the side, again, you have your knurled uh, or textured kind of fins here, so you can you know, grip it, not have any issues with um, slippage. You can hold it either way. You can hold it like uh, with the grooves um, on the front and the firing button in the back where your thumb is, or you can have it um, reversed where you use your index finger to take your pulls from your tank or RDA or whatever you are using on the top of it. So you do, you do have your options of blue, and it does come in black. Well, I guess you can say silver and blue and silver and black. Uh, but yeah, you can check out the IPV400 and other Pioneer for You products on csvape.com. My name's DJ, and we're here to help you switch the habit. Switch the habit at csvape.com.